welcome back to my channel. I'm looking crusty as ever. It's been a long day and a long week. Me and Rel both got really sick and now we're on the way back up and I just have like dry patch like right over here. It's time for me to take my makeup off and get ready for bed. But I could not leave this till tomorrow because I got home and I knew the Prism palette was going to be waiting for me so I had to swatch it for you guys. Also, we're going to pick winners for my giveaways, so Jaclyn Hill palette, the camera, and the mermaid highlighter. So I'm going to get Rail in here and he's going to help me pick the names and then we're going to get into swatches of the Prism palette. There it is. Maury's YouTube debut. Come here, Maury. Okay, guys, for the giveaway winners, I had to enlist some help from this guy. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> okay, so I had three giveaways <laughs> on my channel this past month, and so I have everyone's names that entered in these envelopes, and I've enlisted the help of Rail Harris to pick out a name from each of these so I can announce the winners. I'm sorry it took us so long. This first envelope is going to be for the winner of the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is from the Midnight Mermaid collection and this is the limited edition highlighter in the shade Midnight Moon and it's actually the one I'm wearing today. And so, okay, here you go honey, don't look in the envelope. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to just read the name out or will I be no, giving you it back to you? To Okay, so the winner of the highlighter is a little bit of gold glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and comment on your comment Monday to get in touch with me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pick a new winner. But congratulations! You win this highlighter and it's bomb. So hope you're excited. Uh, next, we're going to draw for the camera that I'm giving away. So this is everyone that entered for the camera. Drum roll, please. And the winner is... Jenny Elizabeth, she wins the camera, so hopefully you can do some good with this. Again, just contact me before Monday, otherwise I'm going to have to pick a new winner. And then last but not least is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think most of you were really excited for the palette, and I'm excited for somebody to have this because God knows it's been out forever. Um, and I think I had the most entries for the palette, so... You're gonna make somebody very happy today, Rail. Why'd you look like you know who it is? Because I'm excited. <laughs> okay, um, winner of the palette is Amy Bose, I think is how you say it. It's A I M E E B O E S. So you win the Jaclyn Hill palette. So hope you guys are really excited. Congrats to everyone that won something. I hope you guys enjoy these prizes. Definitely get back to me ASAP because I would love to get these in the mail for you. Also guys, if you didn't win, don't be disappointed because I'm already collecting palettes for my next giveaways. I have maybe the My Little Pony palette coming up for you guys. The ColourPop X My Little Pony palette, I did pick up two. I love those little palettes, guys. They might not be super expensive, but they are so worth the hype. So I'm excited to review that and maybe give one away to one of you guys. But without further ado, let's talk about one of the hottest new palettes in town. It is the ABH Prism Palette. Now, this one, I think, was probably a little bit of a shock to you guys because I'm like, where the heck did this palette come from? I feel like Subculture just launched. They definitely did a lot of teasing with the blush palette and the new highlighter palette, but I feel like the Prism one just kind of dropped. Don't get me wrong, I'm here for it. I have a bunch of ABH palettes. The only one I've actually ever returned is the Subculture palette, and I made a whole video as to why I was returning the Subculture palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards here. Here is what the box looks like. Looks like any other you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, if you ask me. I see on here it does have a six-month shelf life, which 
honestly, I prefer to have a longer shelf life. This has the same packaging, like that soft packaging that the Modern Renaissance palette has as well as the Subculture palette. It's all black. It's got this like gold beautiful detail here in the front and then when you open it up it does contain a mirror and as well as a free brush which all the ABH palettes come with. Now I wish I had the Subculture palette to compare these two because it does sort of remind me of the Subculture palette. The shade Spear reminds me of that duochrome shade in the Subculture palette that nobody could get to work except this is matte and I don't know. I just feel like there's a few similarities but overall just looking at this I feel like I'm going to enjoy these shades a little bit better. So I'm going to stop blabbering and start swatching so let's see here. I've, de I've seen a few videos on this palette and a lot of people are saying the formula definitely feels like her previous formula. So that's good. These are the first five swatches here. So we've got Lucid, we have Eden, we have Unity, we have Sphinx, and we have Osiris, I think is how you say that. So if you guys can see these, I immediately think Lucid is a really beautiful shade. It's like a champagne color. Um, I think that would be beautiful as an inner corner highlight or just on your full lid. Eden of course speaks to me because it's like a muted orange shade. Unity is going to be beautiful for setting your lid. Sphinx is like a standard color in every palette. You, Everyone loves a good warm bronze shade and then um, Osiris reminds me a lot of, I don't know, I feel like I've definitely seen shades like it. It's a very deep purple with lots of pink and purple uh, flecks of glitter. Lots of pink glitter is loaded in that one. Now Spear is by far one of the shades I'm most excited about. It's the neon matte shade. It's like a highlighter color. That's how most people have described it and I think that's going to be really beautiful in the crease. I'm definitely going to have to put this on my eyes tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in seeing an eye look I created with it, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's Karen Harris Makeup. I do post on there more often than I do on YouTube. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. So that was, oops, I just went the wrong way. So that was Spear. And then I just swatched Pyramid right here, which is also a beautiful like yellowish gold shade. And then we've got Obsidian, which is the black shade. And I don't think that's particularly like a very pigmented black. I think I think I like you palette by ColourPop. The black is a little bit better, but I think it's okay because usually I use a black like this to smoke out my outer corner. This shade, which is called Dimension, is beautiful. It's like a silvery gray. It has like a steel shade look to it, but it's actually a purple. Now that I look at the swatch and it's loaded with light pink glitter, and then there's a beautiful shade called Parallel, which you guys is a beautiful like chocolatey brown rich color. So everyone needs those in a palette because why not? And then I'm going to swatch Pyramid one more time because that's the one I swatch out of order and that's just like a beautiful standard. It's the same color as up here. I just swatched it out of order so I just want to make sure I clarify that I messed up on the swatches there so don't be mad at me. And then we have four shades left, so let's go ahead and swatch Throne. That's one color a lot of people have been really excited about. Saturn is right up my alley. It's like a warm, a orangey shade. Eternal feels really soft, not as dimethicone and definitely doesn't feel like a foil shadow. If you have been watching my channel, you guys know how much I love these mauve purple shades. These shades like this is my jam. There's color like this in the Modern Renaissance palette as well. And this one in the Prism palette is called Lure. So these are the last four swatches. I think they're so, so beautiful. So let me swipe one swipe. There you go. Super beautiful. Throne is definitely a very smoky green with like a lot of gr green glitter and like a really dark base. But I think it's really beautiful. I love all of these colors. It's kind of a crazy palette. 
I was watching um, this YouTuber, she's a smaller YouTuber, talk about five unpopular opinions on YouTube. And one of them was she talked about how people really don't seem to like these palettes where things are very mismatched. And she said that she really likes palettes that are kind of mismatched because they force her to think outside the box. Whereas if a palette is laid out by like shades like rainbow and color coded to her it's really boring and i kind of almost have to agree with her because this palette isn't really one of those palettes that if you're you know maybe like a beginner it's not going to make a whole lot of sense to you but i think that's the beauty of abh is that their palettes they make it a little bit interesting or if you're just like in a hurry and you, you know, don't want to maybe use a shade like Spear, you can still use Eden, Parallel, Saturn, Eternal, Lure, Sphinx, Unity, like those really basic shades and just create a regular everyday look. But if you want to do something bold, you still have enough variety where you can do a really bold look and you can do a really subtle look. And that's my favorite thing about ABH palettes because they are really good at creating that balance. I think they bought the old formula back from what I can tell just from swatching this and I know these swatches aren't like super beautiful, you know, even and stuff like that, but I think this gives you a really good idea of what the colors are gonna look like on my skin tone, what you can expect as far as quality. I don't think there's gonna be a ton of fallout with this and they swatch really beautifully. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about this palette, definitely subscribe to my channel down below. I will definitely do a full review of this palette for you guys. Like I said, I just wanted to get these swatches up in case you were still thinking about getting this palette and you wanted to see swatches. I wanted to be on here so you guys could figure it out for yourself. Okay guys, that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much for watching this video and then to all my giveaway winners, Thank you for entering. Please go ahead and contact me before midnight on Monday. If you guys don't get in touch with me, I will be picking new winners and probably announcing them on Instagram. So if you did enter any of my giveaways last month, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram too so you can stay updated in case I announce the winner on there and don't make it on YouTube again in time. It is a lot more time consuming to film like winners videos. so. I tried to incorporate it into this swatch video for you guys. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more giveaways, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and go ahead and follow me on Instagram in case I have to pick new winners. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye, guys.